Oh my gosh, we're filming a new series today. Allie, wake up. We're filming a new series today. I know, I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Hey guys, we are back. We're so excited. We're starting a new series today. Woo! We took a couple weeks off to reset, rejuvenate, and now we are back in action. We're so excited. The new series name, are you ready for this? Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Cool. That's because for the next few weeks, we are heading south into Central America and left and right, we are gonna see all of the jungles, all of the rainforests. It's gonna be magical. I cannot wait. So right now we are leaving Merida. We are still in Mexico. We got a couple errands to run on our way out of town. So first we got to hit the post office. We got to pick up some stamps. So we've had so much fun here in Merida. We spent two weeks totally relaxing, kicking back, but we're itching to get back starting a new series. So we're heading to Celestun. <laughs> We made it to Celestun. Celestun is a famous beach town that's actually known for having a ton of flamingos. They have these inland lagoons that are pink because of some type of pink salt that's here. So now that we're here in Celestun, just kicking back, relaxing, we wanted to kind of go over with you guys a little bit about our fears. Everyone and their dog told us before we went to Mexico that it was gonna be extremely dangerous, that we were gonna get kidnapped, we were gonna get robbed. We came to find that a lot of that was overhyped. I do have some reservations about going into Central America. Really the only thing that I've been worried about is I've heard that Honduran troops and Venezuelan troops have been actually allowed to come into Nicaragua and being stationed there. That's kind of like a weird civil war thing that's going on in Venezuela and we don't want to get caught in the middle of that. So that is something that I'm a little bit worried about, but in the essence of this video, I'm gonna face my fear and we're still heading south. We had some delicious smoothies, we had a delicious lunch. We've gotten really good at cooking quickly between the two vans and all four of us kind of pitching in. That's true. We're actually gonna take a short little walk into Celestun, check out the little city and go to a grocery store. See you guys there. Hola, buenas tardes. There he is. They got what you need? Dog chow. Dog chow? Is it cat chow too? The other one was, dude. <laughs> Jordan tried to go get dog food earlier today, and they had dog food that was para perro y para gato. It's both. Which is This one definitely has weird. a dog in it. Yep. That's a happy doggy, so. I'm a pretty girl, can't go wrong. <laughs> It's like 100 degrees though. I feel like we have to go swimming. The water here is crystal clear, perfect blue. I got your bathing suit, let's go. All right, let's go!
the water here it feels amazing and we were just in time to catch the sunset which was beautiful and pink tons of seagulls we pulled up to this beautiful little sandy area and there's these black wasp things that I didn't think bite there were a lot of them there were like six or seven all around each person I feel like they're still on me then they started biting Kaylee and then they started biting Trent so then everybody started to freak out we yeah. ran into the water we came back there are less of the wasp things but now there's all the mosquitoes so we're back in the vans I think we're even gonna shower off yeah nice little rinse get the salt water off you before you hit the sack even though Celestune is kind of well known it's still kind of off the beaten track and walking through the little town just to get to a grocery store was very much like we're back in rural remote mexico yeah which, the real deal yeah the real deal and we're prepared for that in mexico but it just really makes me think about what rural and remote will mean in some of these southern countries in central america so for me one of my biggest fears is just the lack of infrastructure that i think we will have to encounter that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing but it's just the unpredictability of what that infrastructure will look like hopefully we enjoy it either way but a lack of infrastructure can be a little bit intimidating we're going to persevere it just means that we need to be extra prepared and a little bit extra cautious which we're going to be yeah a lot of people ask us what it looks like when we shower in terms of what the van has to do to accommodate that so we we take our toilet out we put it right there we take out our trash some dog toys it's really easy i have no complaints watch some Game of Thrones and uh, I don't like Game of Thrones. But everyone Trent else hasn't here, seen Game of Thrones! Everyone else here loves Game oh, of Thrones man. so we're gonna go watch an episode or two of Game of Thrones. Dude I found a 15 minute recap that we can watch if you want and recap seasons one through six. Oh we should! <gasps> That's yeah. perfect! Let's do it. I don't I don't need that. I could watch it to be entertained. Well, I don't dragons. have to know the whole story. Oh, oh, dragons. I know about the dragon chick. You guys nervous about whether we'll be able to watch Game of Thrones in Guatemala and Central America? So I just got oh. a I just got a phone with service from Google called Google Fi. So I think I'm gonna have service. Fingers crossed. I mean we have no idea. But you're supposed to be able to go all across the world and have 15 gigabytes of data for a month. Yeah. That's enough to watch Game of Thrones. So we've been talking obviously earlier in this video about fears that we have and the apprehensions about going to Central America. You already heard what I had to say about it, what Ali had to say about it. Kaylee, what are you thinking? Not having as much access to legit grocery stores. <laughs> we have had the experience of just relying on fruited areas, which is fine, it's totally fine. But I feel like being in like Merida and Cancun the last few weeks, like we've had the luxury of going to Costco, going to Soriana's, getting all the fancy schmancy stuff that we like to eat. And we're definitely not gonna be able to do that for the next however long. <laughs> That's true. Maybe these places will surprise us because you didn't think That's true. these places were gonna be in Mexico. I thought going into Mexico was like going into the abyss and mm -hmm. I was very, very wrong about that. But there's definitely something to be said about that. Like it's familiar and it feels safe right when you're in a grocery store that you recognize so there's just that element I mean, of feeling unsafe if, totally. you're in, if you're in a fruit stand on the side of the road right even if it's the best fruit in the world right it just feels foreign totally it's that familiarity exactly how are you feeling are you excited uh yeah i'd say the one thing i'm most nervous about our electrical system specifically our batteries so sealed lead acid batteries last for two years and we're just closing in on two years we've been looking for batteries for the last two months and we found nothing. I think we're gonna have less and less options the further south we go. Looking forward to lots of car trouble episodes in this series. No, don't we'll say that. <laughs> Do not jinx us. Trent will build us a battery. <laughs> I'll build a battery. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think it's so interesting if you look at the beginning of our Don't Stop Belizean series, even though everybody was like being, you know, a tough guy. When we were about to cross the border into Mexico, we were like military soldiers going off to war. We didn't know what was gonna be there. Yeah. We were all nervous. And when we crossed the border, it was like, what are we doing? And now that we've been in Mexico for almost three months, it feels like home. It feels like now we're about to cross the border into the unknown again. And it's just that whole process of overcoming your fears. I'm really excited for it because I feel like each one of us as individuals have grown from pushing the boundaries and we're, we're just gonna do it again. Woohoo, I love it! But I think that's probably gonna do it for today's episode. We wanna thank you guys all so much for watching. Episode number one. Number one! <laughs>
of the new series. Welcome, Welcome to, to the jungle! jungle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that one down. We'll get that one down. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the Nomadic Movements channel if you guys haven't already. Subscribe to Trent and Alley. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Good night! See you guys Woo. tomorrow. <laughs>